Hey guys and welcome to another block spotlight. In this spotlight I would like to take a look at this thing here. This is the steam turbine from Mine Factory Reloaded. Now I've got a little setup here. Um, I'll explain what this thing is here uh, before we continue. But first I would like to take a look at the crafting recipe of this block. Alright, so the steam turbine is made using some plastic sheets at the top here. Then in the center here we have a furnace, it's surrounded by two pistons, at the bottom we have the factory machine block, and then that one surrounded by two nether bricks. Alright, so the factory machine block is made using plastic sheets as well at the top, and then we have some stone underneath there. And these plastic sheets are made from raw plastic, which can be obtained by smelting rubber bars or rubber from any, uh, any other mods, such as industrial craft. All right. So, um, this is a little setup I have here. Now, the steam turbine, essentially what it does, so this is steam turbine right here, is it generates power. And it does this by converting steam. Now, I wanted to make a little setup to make steam for me to do this. And that's where this comes in. So this is a high pressure boiler from Railcroft. So you basically provide it with creosote oil, if I pronounce that correctly, and water, and that will make steam. Now, for some reason, I'm not sure why, the texture for steam in uh, this pack is a bit messed up. So this here is steam. Everything in here is just steam. This is a tank filled with steam. Just the, text uh, the texture is messed up and that's why it looks uh, like it does now over here we have a tank with creosote oil and over here we have a tank with water now these are all tanks from open uh, open blocks and uh, i i'm not entirely sure but i believe that each one of these can hold uh, 16 buckets so yeah each holds 16 buckets of the fluid so i've, I've got water in here 16 buckets in every single of the uh, single one of these blocks all right so over here we have a resonant energy cell this is one of the new energy cells added by thermal expansion in minecraft 1.6 and it stores redstone flux now uh, the mine factory loaded machines generally uh, used minecraft jewels from buildcraft but with the addition of Redstone Flux, the uh, author of the Mine Factory Reloaded mod wanted to accommodate both the uh, fact, uh, sorry, both the Thermal Expansion mod and the Buildcraft mods. So the power generation in Mine Factory Reloaded produces both Minecraft Jewels and Redstone Flux, depending on which you want to extract from it. Now I'm using redstone, uh, redstone flux right here because it's convenient to use the uh, energy cells. All right, so let's have a look at the steam turbine. So it's a very basic setup. Over here you have uh, your uh, storage, well, internal storage for steam. And then to the right there we have the energy bar. This shows you how much energy is currently stored in the block. Now this will never fill up unless there is no way, uh, well, nowhere for the energy to go. So then it will just fill that up and uh, stop there. All right, but I have this uh, ren uh, redstone energy conduit which will uh, have uh, redstone flux flow into the resonant energy cell. All right, so we've got a, uh, a fluid duct set up right here, which is going to transport the steam from the tank here into the steam turbine. So let's switch the lever there and uh, have it run. So now there's steam in this fluid duct. And over here, we can see that there's steam in our steam turbine. All right, now. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, yeah, it is running. Sorry. Okay, so this is filling up quite nicely with redstone flux. Now, I was uh, confused as to if it was running or not because the bar isn't filling up, but that's because it can hold a massive uh, 10,000 redstone flux and it only has 80 constantly. That's because this is generating 80 redstone flux per tick or 8 Minecraft jewels per tick. All right, so that's basically it for this block. It's a fairly simple machine. It 
it has a simple function which it performs perfectly. Uh, it's currently generating that 80 redstone flux per tick, as you can see, 80 redstone flux on average, and uh, filling up this resonant energy cell quite rapidly. All right, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.